Before having CIDP, I was very active. I played basketball and soccer and martial arts. I also played the piano every day from age 6 to 24. And not being able to play is, is just one of the hardest things to give up. In 2004, I was uh, working at Costco one day and my middle finger and ring finger wouldn't spread apart. I had been working on music the whole week, so I kind of thought it was maybe carpal tunnel. And so we started to investigate what was going on. He was starting to feel like he couldn't do the things he used to do. His hands became weaker and he couldn't spread his fingers apart. Uh, 2008, I believe, uh, Thanksgiving Eve, I was walking down my to my basement and I fell down 13 stairs. My ankle gave out. And that's when we knew something else was going on. So my doctors finally decided to send me to the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. They knew exactly they what, exactly had. what it was. Yeah, and of course, we had never heard of CIDP. Nobody had, right. none of us had ever heard of that. This uh, illness called CIDP, which is basically an immune attack on one's nerves that uh, control the movement in your arms, legs, and face. So initially, my first treatment was prednisone, a steroid, to try to get the inflammation down, and, but that didn't work. And plasma exchange, where they clean your blood and cycle your blood through and add albumin. He was getting plasma exchange twice a week. And we did that for almost six years. Oh yeah. Drive back and forth, but Twice that was week, really yeah. keeping him alive. Then I found a study in Chicago for my disease CIDP, but I was deemed too severe and I was denied. So I kept looking and kept looking and I found the one at Presbyterian St. Luke's CBCI Center. There it was, there was a stem cell transplant for autoimmune diseases in Denver, and I was like, oh my God, we just hit the jackpot. It was like, <laughs> so exciting, so exciting. He was very determined to try and do something that would make his life better. So bone marrow transplantation can use your own cells or it can use cells from a donor. He was uh, subjected to a six day course of very strong chemotherapy to try and knock out the uh, activity of the disease. Uh, and then he was injected with cells from his blood and marrow that we had collected prior to the chemotherapy to allow his bone marrow and immune system to recover. And uh, following all this treatment, he had a period of extremely low blood counts where he is at risk of uh, serious infections. He did have some serious complications that he had to get through. I had a bad reaction and I went into respiratory failure. The PSL team are amazing. They intubated me for five days and I was in the hospital for a total of 43 days. Ultimately, he recovered his blood counts and his general condition started to gradually improve as a, uh, as a consequence of the treatment. And then I started to move my toes. It's been years since I haven't moved my toes. Before the stem cell transplant, my arms were pretty much like this. And now I can move my arm up and out. I have enough strength in my right hand to use a computer mouse, so I do graphic design work and I also work on electronic music. I'm walking a lot better, I have more endurance. I was able to play soccer the other day. My hope for him You're would be him. that that someday he can live independently exactly. and yeah. um, get back to a life that he didn't get. You know, Maybe on. get a job. Yeah, get a job. Make All some money. <laughs> It'd be fun. For people with my disease and neuropathies like MS or ALS, I think uh, stem cells is the future of medicine. Show him your hands, Alex. You have to Look at this. You have never been able to do that before. Yeah. To the people who got me through this, thank you very much because you saved my life and my. I have a much better quality of life now.